All right. Go in Home Depot here. I will grab a sample. I have, I think, about six tiles. I'll take one in, try to see if they have another case of tiles to, uh, to go in there. And then I'll get a metal cutting blade for my Dremel to cut the bolts. Need some adhesive. And I forgot the fourth thing. But yeah. Jax, be good. Alrighty, got the bolts cut. Awesome, so now we're flush with the wood. Unfortunately, I'm not quite sure. I was probably about 92% sure that I bought the tiles here at Home Depot, and they're not ringing up. The barcode on the back of the one I brought in does not exist. So, bef <laughs> maybe I got them at Lowe's, maybe. There is not a Lowe's within 30 miles here of where I'm at right now. And I can't leave here because I'm in Chehalis right now. I'm picking up the jackknife sofa and the water tank from Centralia, which is about five miles away from here in the morning. So I'm going to use the six tiles that I have and then just hope and pray that it's actually at a Lowe's where I got the tiles before and then hit up a Lowe's in two days in Olympia, Lacey. And if they don't have it, hopefully they scan it and it actually shows up. Um, and if they don't have it in stock, then I'll just wait for more. But I'll use what I got right now at least. But I'm going to cross the street here, go back over to Walmart, spend the night in the Walmart parking lot here, and then tomorrow morning we'll go pick up the stuffs. Alrighty. Well, I'm here parked at Walmart in Shehala, Centralia. Man, it has just not stopped snowing or raining all day today. <sighs> it's frustrating. But I've got the, the wood pretty much all dried out over here. Right there, as you can see. I think I'm going to get this surface all prepped and kind of use up the tiles that I have. Pretty much. Just kind of use it up. Start, start here and then work my way that way. I got one tile right there to switch out that got moved and weirded out. But go that way as far as possible, since the couch is going to be over there, save that for last and see how far I get, basically. I don't know. I mean, I could, I could watch TV and just kind of hang out till tomorrow. Uh, I can't wash dishes. I, I don't have any running water right now. So, um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I've got the water tank uh, being stored in the shower right now uh, until tomorrow. So, yeah, maybe I'll just uh, work through tonight. And see how far I get and yeah, I will show you how far I get all right I got the last well four of the five tiles uh, put down adhered to the ground looking good These ones have to be cut along this edge right here. I managed to save one I actually remembered to save uh, One tile and I got the box over there. So we'll go into Lowe's I guess here either tomorrow night or I don't know but we'll figure this out. Uh, I'm exhausted. The rain, <laughs> the cold and the rain just nonstop is starting to get to me. So I gotta take a break. I've done a lot today though. Jax? Catman. Catman Jax. <sighs> it's been an interesting morning thus far. Woke up at 4 a.m. Very cold, ran out of propane, so the heater wasn't working. Decided to try to make it last until I woke up in the morning. Didn't really work. It's 6.16 in the morning, and I had to wake up because I was too cold. Went inside, got a new propane tank, gonna fire that up, get it hooked up, fire up the heat, and move on with the day. I'm glad I was near a Walmart instead of back out at Wainucci or, uh, oh, where was I, Rife Lake. Um, over here, though, there's a Starbucks coffee, and since I don't have any running water right now, that's where I'm going to go grab my morning coffee instead of making my own this morning, too. All right. Got coffee. Got heat. Now we can start our day. Today's going to be a good day. I got it. 13 tiles here at Lowe's. I'm glad they had it in stock. I'm glad that you can just buy. I bought two more than I need, just in case. 
Actually, and I just realized... Well, no, they had like 76 cases of this stuff, so... But at one time, I should probably just buy a whole other case of 30 tiles just to have them for like repairs and stuff on the road, but... Man, I'm very thankful that worked out. Now, now that I'm back in Lacey Olympia... <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go down to Priest Point Park and finish the flooring. That's what we'll do. All right, here at my little spot, plugged in for lights and just in case I need to use the shop vac or something like that, but uh, let's get the dinette cleared out there and I will finish laying tile to prep for the new water tank, hopefully, and couch later today. Possibly be so interested. He's up on the dash, just stalking stuff outside. Oh, I see. We got a squirrel. That's what's driving Jacks crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm not too worried about getting it perfectly lined up on the edge right here because this is going to have trim. Although this whole section is going to be really visible because the TV is going to be over here and the couch is going to be here. So this is going to be a high traffic area and it's going to be a visual thing, but I will get the right kind of trim to make that all look good. Um, it's going to get the back uh, corner down there. Not really sure what I want to do here because there's a wire that comes out of the floor. <sighs> Darn it. I guess that's really the only surprise. Um, so yeah, I'll have to think about that. But the rest of it I will be able to line up around the corner and then I'll use the last bit that I got to start here and work underneath where the couch is going to go. Jack's man, back in a little bit here. All right, we're here at West Coast RV Recycling. I'm gonna take this bad boy in, check the connections on that other one. Hopefully they still have it and uh, just go from here. I don't really know what to expect today. Here we go. Okay, uh, some good news and some tricky news. First of all, the tank will fit underneath the jackknife sofa. And over here, the connections are all just kind of backwards, so I've got to extend this to get it to over there. Uh, this is half inch vent that needs to go to three quarter inch here. The drain down here, actually this is backwards. That's gonna be the pump in that doesn't even have anything in it. The drain needs to go over here where there is a half inch, so that needs to come out. And I need to extend the intake for the pump uh, to get to over there. So this piece right here solves Another problem, basically that's going to go into there like that, come down, and this is going to go into the water pump in right there. And then part two is swapping this in for here, curling it around, and getting it into there. But we still got to put a half inch thread piece. I'm confused. I'm confused. Hang on, I'll get back to you.
alrighty, what a Frankenstein job this turned out to be. But I think we all got it here. I don't want this slack here. I don't want the slack here, obviously, but just hooking it up, testing it out. Got Teflon tape on all the plastic threads. The vent is right here that goes back out. The fill is right here. The drain comes down here. Obviously, it can't go up like this, but I'll switch that around. And the water pump connections is the gray one and then spliced in right here. So the next step here is going to be to fill this with some water and make sure that it doesn't leak. And then I'll be bringing in the jackknife sofa to see how it fits over top of this and how that works. All right, no leaks anywhere in the bottom of the tank. The, uh, the pump works, pumps the, through. Uh, there's no way to really know that all my connections are tight until I get that completely full of water and I start driving and it starts sloshing around. Uh, but I'm confident in that, plus I want to change some of the lengths of the hoses later anyway. But... Alright, just a temporary fit right now in the corner. But at least we know everything works in here. I guess I sort of just started getting into it right here because they're allowing me to work on it. M mine as well, just in case I need something. But I got two strips of uh, water heater tape going along here to secure it. And then I'm going to do the blocks, just like most RVs have. Uh, along all the sides so that this is not going to be moving while I'm driving. I want to secure it as much as possible. I'm also going to do one more strap lengthwise this way, uh, but just want to secure as much as possible. And then I'm going to start repairing the legs of the sofa, beef those up a little bit as well, and then drill those into the ground so that the sofa itself is not going to be shifting or moving. Yep, I'm not half-assing anything here. I got the other strap put in. I got all my blocks around all four corners. This tank is not going to be moving around as I'm driving. I got some great ideas. I cut some wood, if Jacks will move. Can we scoot you over just a tiny bit? So, for securing this right here, I'm going to put a piece of wood right in there like that, and that'll keep that square. Jax, do you approve? Do you approve, buddy? All right, I got it all reinforced. Got the side pad, I got the skirt on the front there covering the water tank like that. Um, I got that one tile over there, so I gotta do in the corner. And then like I said, I need to repair some tiles right here by the door entryway. It does look like Jax approves. Right, Jax? Hello? Hi. Uh, no? Can I talk to me right now? Because I have locked you in the bathroom for two hours? Okay. Well, that's awesome. Just doubled my water capacity. Got a nice, comfortable couch to hang out on. I'm gonna order a, a, a laptop lap desk to do my work that has a mouse pad also, and uh, we'll go on Amazon Play for that. I kinda wish I had another person with me right now because I'm gonna stop off at the Scatter Creek rest stop, dump my holding tanks, and fully fill up this tank and test it. Like I said, it'd be nice if I had someone in here while I'm out there and I'm just going to run back in and check. I'm going to pull the couch back out so that I can see everything around the tank. Just to make sure there's no leaks when it's full as well. And then I am going to add my bleach solution, fill it halfway. And then slosh it around from here to Olympia is about 20 miles. That'll sanitize the tank really well and then we should be good to go. But let's go test for leaks. Ready. Dumping the tanks first, and then fresh drinking water is up farther. Awesome. Well, no leaks down there. I've got it half full. I don't know if you can see the line. Half full. I've got the bleach in there, so we'll drive a little bit, mix that all up, sanitize the tank, and get back to Olympia, find a place to drain it and refill it, and we're good to go. 58 gallons of water. What do you think, Jax? That's a lot of drinking water, huh? Oh, yeah. The only other thing is sloshing because I've doubled the water. We want that to help sanitize the tank, but I have a feeling it's going to be really noticeable sometimes if I slam on the brakes or something. Let's see, sometimes they have free coffee here at this rest stop. I'm going to check it out see if I can get some coffee but we'll stop here and see what it does not bad not bad no worse than the other tank I had before man it's super exciting next step relax on my new couch checks man here we go man 
Got everything I need now. 58 gallons of water, my kitty cat, cold beer, and Netflix. Oh yeah. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.